All right, I'm going to show you exactly how you can play Marvel Future Revolution tonight. It is going into soft launch into Canada, and so it's a bit tricky. Now, uh, this will be going live at midnight uh, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So that is at, uh, they're going to give us the time right here, basically June 30th, and uh, at minus 5 UTC uh, zero, 00, which is, 12 a.m. Tuesday in Las Vegas, Nevada, Pacific time. So this is, for me, the exact same time that the Loki show is going to premiere tonight. Now, it was a bit of a trick to do it. Uh, I'm not a tech support person, but I found this to be somewhat easy for me to do. And I, I'm going to give you all the links on how I was able to get this done. First things first, full disclosure of what's happening is that this only works for users in Canada can access the game during soft launch. Global launch is gonna be a couple months from now, September 30th. The game will be accessible in other countries during grand launch. Soft launch is only supported in Android devices. Depending on the situation and the market, the game may be released in waves, so on, so on, so on. I'm gonna give you the first link right here in the description that is to the Marvel Future Revolution Discord. And uh, there was a lot of question asked and answered about this soft launch, like will the data carry over? Yes. Uh, which player does this work best? Like I am an iPhone user. How am I gonna play this on my PC? And they are suggesting two different players and the one that i could get to work which the main developer over there recommended which was brian the phoenix he's one of the i guess he's one of the developers over there now he was recommending the ld player now i went and googled the ld player and i got a version right here that did not work well but this person right here posted a link I will post that first link, the second link. So the first link I'm going to post in the description is going to be the Discord link to this server. The second one is going to be to download the LD64 player right here. I clicked it. I loaded up the LD player. Second, so then I got the LD player uh, set up right like here. This is what it looked like when I said. Then you have to be in Canada. So I have a VPN. Express VPN forward slash mobile gamer i'm sponsored by express vpn you get three extra months free if you sign up for uh 12 months uh number one rated vpn i did a lot of research and it, what it came down to me is that uh, i wanted the geolock features and i know there's a lot of different things you can do with vpns i think you've seen like a million videos from youtubers expressing uh how good vpns and this and that what we're going to use it for today is uh, setting up uh, so that it looks like you're in Canada. So once I had this set up and I had my activation code, they, I was able to do right on my dashboard of my PC uh, to get a APK, which you can see right here, uh, Express VBN Android APK. And what I did is I literally just dragged this right into the LD player right here and it just popped up. Then when I clicked into it, I basically it tried to default me to LA. I, I changed the settings to say Canada, Toronto. I hit connected. The little key thing was working, and then we're good. So that was uh, that was the third step. Fourth step, using this link right here for M A P K per A P K Pure Marvel Future Revolution. Link to this will be in the description. Downloaded the A P K on my computer, and what that is right here. I just downloaded it, it went right there, right? I literally just went in here and dragged this right into the LD player. And then Marvel Blue Revolution came up. Now, when this first came out, I had to, it, there was like a Star-Lord game that I could play and so on like that. Other thing too is I did have to log in with a Google Play account. Now, this is something I don't know about. Um, I have multiple Google Play accounts. I have um, one that I use for a lot of things, but that one right there uh, was primarily uh, I've used for, uh, it's like my Canadian, my Canadian Gmail account, if you will. I don't know if you need that. I think you could just use your normal Gmail account, but you're going to need a Gmail account, uh, a Google Play account. And that particular one, and I'm not sure because I set that up such a long time ago, uh, where I was using that primarily for iPhone to get a 
a, a Canadian's iTunes account. I used it for pretty much all of my Canadian stuff because I've had to do this many times with every game, right? So that particular Gmail account, uh, I don't think it matters though, uh, is, is tied to everything in Canada. And then uh, it downloaded the patch. There's this Star-Lord game you can play while it's downloading. It was uh, downloaded the file. And then uh, there's only two things you can do once it's all fully installed is you can hear C forum notice, which we just looked at a minute ago where it had uh, basically all this information here, which we just saw. No reason, uh, you can't use this link. I tried clicking this link, it didn't work. I had to use the APK. Uh, but then when I go back here, it says, this is the pre-download period. Please wait until official launch time, which is about 12 hours from now. And we will be up and running playing Marvel Future Revolution. So, Discord server. Discord server. LD player. Express VPN. APK. Four steps. Four steps. And I and I am not a tech support channel. I'm not really smart when it comes to tech. Uh, I found it to be pretty quickly. And if you're having trouble uh, with any of these steps, because I'm not a tech support person, I'm not going to be able to answer them. I found the Discord server to be the most helpful. Uh, I didn't ask any questions, but I was just able to read there and find things to do. Uh, and then it worked for me. And then as soon as uh, this goes live later tonight, at the same time that the Loki shows, I should be up and running and ready to play the game. Very exciting. Lastly, I'm posting this video on my Mobile Gamer 365 channel, which is, uh, that's my channel for Marvel Strike Force. So like if you've watched this channel a lot, you know that I do Marvel Strike Force. I'm not stopping doing Marvel Strike Force at all. Not doing Marvel, I'm not stopping. I'm just, I'm gonna test out Marvel Future Revolution. But if you want, to be involved with Marvel Future Revolution, the channel that I'm gonna be posting my videos for Marvel Future Revolution is going to be my main mobile gamer chain channel right here. Mobile gamer, just straight mobile gamer. So that's gonna be the fifth link in the video where you can go to my main. This is the, 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 the channel that I used to do Galaxy of Heroes videos. I'm gonna be doing Marvel Future Revolution videos there. And I'm gonna, on the Mobile Gamer 365 channel, I'm still gonna be doing Marvel Strike Force. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I haven't decided if I want to stream this on YouTube or Twitch. I think I'm going to stream this on YouTube, actually, on, on that main channel. Uh, just I, I like to keep things separate. I, I know uh, other YouTubers have pivoted to other games, and I kind of found it annoying. I, I You guys tell me that, too, all the time. Thank you. <laughs> the Galaxy of Heroes people remind me every day. When are you going to come back? Well, I understand. Uh, so there you got it. Everything's in the description, and again... Uh, thank you for everybody that downloads uh, ExpressVPN uh, for my link. It really does help support this channel. And big shout out to them for sponsoring this video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and keep on gaming.